Hey guys. All right, so now we have our electronics enclosure. We've got our top plate finished. We've got our control panel finished. And so now it's time to start wiring. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our 110 volts. And we're actually gonna just bring power in to the panel from our household outlet. It's gonna go to the main disconnect. And what I have is some, this is some SO cord, SOO cord. Uh, this is a 14 gauge and three conductor. And I picked up these plastic liquid tight connectors. And it just slides over the end of the wire, like so. And this little compression fitting piece goes on. And then the connector goes on. We just want to get enough to get it into the panel. Take the nut off here. Now if you remember I put three holes in the top of my panel. One is for the spindle motor. One was for our power in and the other for our control box. Okay. Slide the nut on and we'll get this secured. I just want to tuck this wire down in behind all this and have enough cable to come up to our disconnect switch. And it should be good there. Okay, we have that secure. Then on the other end, I just put a three pong outlet. And this is some 14-3 conductor. And it's about 12 feet long. You can see what it looks like secured. In behind the VFD here. All right. So we're gonna bring our hot in Put it on terminal L1. Make sure that that is secured. Now I did attend the ends of these wires if you can, I don't know if you can tell, but I did tin the ends of these wires. I like to do that because this is twisted stranded wire and not solid core. Okay, and on the bottom here, I'm gonna put our other two like so going to tie into this with some 14 gauge solid core wire and I just picked these spools up at my local home center it's just 50 foot of uh, solid 14 and I have uh, green black and white so I'm going to take some Going to take the green, I'm going to put it in here with this other green wire, and then secure that like so. And I'm going to take the white and put it in the center one here for a neutral. 
make some white wire and stick in there with it. Make some white wire and stick in there with it. And we have those in. And then I need to take some black for the power and bring it in. Just take some black and bring it into this terminal. T1. Yours may be labeled different. Um, and you may be using a different disconnect switch and that's fine too. Alright, so let's take a look and see what we've got here. We've got our power coming in, going through our switch, and going to this black wire. Then we have our ground going over here and daisy chaining into our ground and our neutral coming out and going into our neutral. And then our switch will mount like so. So we can get that mounted. So let me do that now. Okay, I've got our disconnect secured. Uh, and I've taken loose the top plate because we need to tie in from our green wire ground disconnect and we need to go to our three outlets. So what I have done is just, just I just made me up a little pigtail. I'm just going to connect it here then I'm going to wrap around this one here then I'm going to come down through our cable tray and go back into the disconnect and connect with this ground here okay and we can do the same thing with our three neutrals and they will go to the silver colored screws on the outlet the silver colored okay well you can see I have my neutral hooked up it's on the silver screw and it also is going to the center terminal here on the main disconnect and I just want to take my meter and just make sure that I have continuity between these wires And then also check my ground and make sure I don't have continuity between the green and the white. Just to double, share, uh, double check and make sure that they got good connections inside here because we are putting three wires in there. So I want to make sure there's a good connection there. Alright, so the next step So we're going to have one wire for our coolant switch. It's going to go to our solid state relay on the contact side. And that is right here on pin 1. And we'll run black uh, red wire from here to here. Here is this wire. We're going to tuck it in our cable tray. It's going to come over to our solid state reader. This is labeled 1 and 2. And this is a set of contacts. And over here is our coil side, our control side, and then our contact side. So I'm going to loosen one side of this up. Actually, let's connect it to 2 because 2 is actually the output side. Okay. And we'll run power to this side and once this is turned on it will send power up to our outlet to control our coolant. Okay, so next we want to bring our cables down. We have our neutral, our ground, and our power. We're going to bring our ground wire down, run it through our tray. And I'm going to land it down here on my 
ground terminal. Right here, let me strip this back. Okay. The terminal strips I'm using are some that I had. They're Dinkle AK 1.5. You may want to go with the 2.5. These happen to be push type connectors. The wire goes in here and in this side right here you push a small screwdriver in and you can see it presses the contact forward and as it does that there's a hole that you can slide the wire in and then when you pull your screwdriver out it locks the wire in you can also get the screw type I prefer the screw type but these I already had some of these so I went with these so we're going to bring our ground wire over and we'll just push this in this one there we go lock it in okay so I've got my neutral wire I'm going to bring it down into the panel I'm going to put it right about here. Doesn't really matter, but I want to save some room. Lock that in. Want to save some room to use these for neutrals as well. So we've got our ground. And our neutral, tuck that in our, make sure that gets all tucked in our cable tray. You can take some of these little small wire ties, like these, and kind of tie this stuff up if you want. If it helps you, kind of just keep stuff organized, maybe. A little bit we have our hot coming in from our disconnect and we're going to go over to our fuses and you can see that on the prints here I've labeled this wire number 91 and we're going to bring it in to this first fuse here in FU6 Okay, and that's secure. And then we can tighten this last one up. Let's see what we're looking at here. Our power coming in to here. Then we jump her over to this fuse and jump her over to the third fuse. Okay, so now we have our power coming in. So now we have our power coming in from our outlet over to our disconnect right here on this side. Comes out, down our channel over to our three fuses, FU6, Fuse 3, and Fuse 1. We have our neutral coming in and going over to our terminal block and our ground coming in and going to our ground terminal block. We have our neutral wire going to our two outlets and we have our ground going to our two outlets. So that's the 110 volt coming in. We've got it landed on our fuses and our terminal strip. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thumbs up if you like the video. And most importantly, be safe.